Hello everyone, I'm here to do, I'm Brandi Anderson, BRAC personal trainer, and today I want to show you part two of the ball exercise program. So about a month ago I posted about six different ball exercises, um, and many of you went out and bought a ball and have been doing them, and I just wanted to give you about six more exercises today so you have about, uh, so you can juggle about 12 different ball exercises and you have some variety in your program. First of all, I'm going to have you hold the ball overhead. This is going to be for your core and for balance, and it's called an overhead hold with leg raise. I'm almost touching the ceiling here, here, so try not to touch the ceiling, but I'm just going to engage my core, going to stand slightly wider than shoulder width or hip width apart, and then I'm going to bring my leg out to the side and try to balance. I'll do about 10 to 15 reps. Really try to engage your core and slowly do 10 in a row on one side. Then you'll shift your weight, engage your core, and then start with the other side. This is a good one for your kids to try with you too. Really good for your balance and core strength. Second exercise I'm going to have you do, I'll have you follow me just a little bit because I'm going to put the ball against the wall. And this is called a wall squat. If you had a pair of dumbbells, you could do bicep curls at the same time. So I, you just squat down to 90 degrees and you can curl, or if you, if you don't have dumbbells, you just squat. And when you push, when you um, squat down, I want you to push your back, your butt against the wall so it goes back towards the wall. Okay, you can pause for a second. I'm coming all the way back down to 90 and all the way back up with good posture. That was exercise number two. Next. We'll do a couple where we sit on the ball. So we started with a couple standing. We're gonna do a couple sitting on the ball and then we'll get down to the floor for the last two exercises. So I'll show you from the side here. I'm sure many of you know a basic crunch, but I'm gonna show you a variation for that. So a crunch is you're gonna roll out until your hips are still on the ball, but your, your butt is slightly off the ball. Hands behind your head. You're gonna lift up your shoulders and crunch down. Crunch up two seconds, down two seconds. Exhale as you crunch. To show you a little bit more of an advanced version of this exercise and also allow you to get your obliques, this is called circle abs on the ball. So I'm kind of making the shape of a circle as I crunch up, but still keeping my pelvis tilted up, my back on the ball, just lifting my shoulders up and then you probably just want to do about five to ten. You're going to start shaking a little bit, um, but you want to have energy to do the opposite side. So then you'll do about five to ten circling to the left. Okay, so next I want to do a glute bridge. I showed you in the last video, I showed you somewhat similar exercise to this where you bridge up and roll the ball in. But for this one, I'm going to put your feet flat on the ball and you're going to engage your core and you're going to lift up so there's a straight line, if there was an imaginary line, all the way from my shoulders to my knees. You'll pause for a second at the top and then you'll come back up and come down, squeezing your glutes as you thrust up, okay? It's a great exercise. I feel my hamstrings helping out. And then it's a great exercise for your glutes and low, backs, low back as well. The next one is another great exercise for your obliques and also your lower abs. Anytime you put the ball between your legs, it's gonna engage your lower abs. So you're gonna come up, balls between your legs. You can bring your hands out like a windmill here. And you're actually gonna go side to side as far as you comfortably can Maybe not all the way to the floor, maybe halfway there. You can pause back in the center, and then you'll go to the right side. This is really using my lower abs and my obliques. Try not to let it flip you over. So the last exercise we're gonna do is called the reverse crunch. This is one of my favorite exercises to do, even for someone that has a little bit of low back problems. I like it with a little bit of a smaller ball, but this ball will do. I have really long legs, so this will work. But if you have like a smaller ball, 
you're a little bit shorter, it might help to have a smaller ball or even using one of the kids' balls around the house. So you're gonna grip it in there and you're gonna crunch up. So reverse crunch. So just the lower half of my body is coming up. And my shoulders, my neck, sometimes crunches cause neck, you know, if you're straining in the neck or in the low back, but here your neck and your low back are all supported and you're kind of getting the middle to lower abs by raising your legs. So that's called the reverse crunch. Those were my six ball exercises for part two of the ball routine. Have a great day, guys.